Did one of them say 14? That may have gone under the... One of them may have said 14 and went under the radar. Wait one moment. Nothing wrong with being 14. He's, yeah, you're right. He did say nothing wrong with being 14. You're, you're right. I didn't miss that one. He snuck that one in there. Unfortunately, I've been incredibly busy, but a little while ago, there was something uh, that's up my alley that some of you unfortunately may not have known about, but I'm going to make you, I'm going to, I'm going to make you know about it now. All right. Whether you like it or not, Patriot Front is back. You're right. You're right to think it is that, that old Nazi group, that like white nationalist group that we love to keep a track of that has in, that has had wild leaks some homo questionable um, petting that, that they like to do every now and again, that, that they would like to call a pat down, um, I guess. The dumbest, cringiest fighting I've ever seen in my entire life, as well as them wearing the same outfit, because they're all so different and they are free thinkers. That's why we're all wearing the same outfit. Anyways, they decided to come back and come back with a force. No longer are they going to be relegated to being clowned on like they were back when they got arrested after hopping in that U-Haul and getting their cars torn up, okay? No longer are they going to be comfortable with just sitting on the sidelines and putting up stickers about how brown people need to be kicked out of the country. No longer are they going to be hidden. They decided to gather up about 150 200 men strong if you can call these people men and now march with their new 5-6 leader who differentiates himself from everybody else by actually showing his face and wearing a cool cowboy hat along alongside it while wearing a penny coat instead of the normal uh, polo that the other guys are in and it's crazy stuff take a look at this march man they got a little drum they got their shields <laughs> I'm sorry. I love how seriously they take they take themselves. Every time these people like get into a kerfuffle of their own doing, they get like they get obliterated. Like every single time they get obliterated. Maybe this time, maybe this time it's different. This time I'm telling you it's going to be different. Uh maybe or something, I guess. And obviously, you can't have the right wing doing something that's actually horrible without somebody like Joe Rogan saying that they actually didn't do it because it's some um, uh fake, I guess. Take a look at this. Look at these guys. Where's the fat people? <laughs> well, I mean, I, I don't, I don't want to, I, I don't, I don't want to be that guy, but like, <laughs> I mean, he was like literally right there in the front, you know. I mean, they're they're they. I I I don't I don't want to be that guy, but like they're 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 definitely in here. They're they're some big boys in here, a hundred percent, you know, <laughs> Joe. <laughs> Uh, a little in the front. How come they're all wearing the same clothes? They're a terrorist organization. Do that again. What the fuck is this? Is that have you ever seen anything that looks more like feds? <laughs> Tell me that doesn't look like feds. Right? It's like the hundred and first airborne. Bro, look like at this. These guys are all runners. These guys look like they just got out of buds. I mean look, the they, fuck out of here. They, they, look at this. The fuck out of here. How do they all have like uniformed outfits on? They have the same color pants for the most part. Very little variation. How in the world do 150 people find tan khakis? Does that sound right to you? When was the last time you were in an old navy? Did you see 150 pairs of the same khaki? No, I don't think so. L last time I was there, there were like five. Maybe 10. I will say they are cosplayers and they've been called feds by other conservatives before, but because every conservative calls every conservative group a fed every time something bad happens, because for one, they don't want to be connected to them. And two, when they see how embarrassing they are when they're actually doing the things they like LARP on, on like fucking kick and like discord about, yeah, they look fucking stupid. Yeah, of course. Sorry. Yeah. I'm trying to swear less actually. Yeah. They look completely stupid. You, you, they, they all look dumb. But that doesn't mean they're feds. I don't want to call them feds because they're not. <laughs> they they they're a well documented terrorist group in the in the country. Actually, they look stupid. Yeah, but like saying that here here's the thing because I ne I never see this from from these people who are always like free thinkers. You know, like the people who like give credence to conspiracies. It's always leaning. All the conspiracies are always like weirdly leaning right about this type of stuff. 
the right doesn't do this type of stuff because like they're they're all feds but like blm that's all real and everybody who committed a crime during like the blm protest those guys were all like real and horrible people and antifa is like the craziest most insane thing ever um but but like not these guys i don't know i don't know i don't know if joe rogan said that antifa are all feds too i guess if that was if that was the case at least the at, at least the insanity would be even uh, but this is the first time i personally heard bro say that something like this before they've uh, when, when it comes to these groups tan or brown pants okay. dark blue shirts with the fucking stupid flag on it this asshole's got a drum back that up look at the fucking drum bitch are you paul revere it's, what the fuck are you doing with that drum he's walking around with a band drum it's like white a high power school drum band. line this is so stupid it hurts my feelings <laughs> It is it is ridiculous. I will say, I agree. I agree with Joe there. I don't hate Joe. A lot of people think I hate Joe. I do not hate Joe. I disagree with Joe sometimes. I do not hate him though. You know, he's he's right. He's wrong sometimes. Calling every uh, them feds, I think it's dangerous. Not because like I hey, don't be mean to the feds, but because we should understand the reality of how bad these people actually are without dismissing them as just like fake crisis actors or some shit like that this is this is real okay these people are not feds and the people who they hurt kill maim hunt abuse torture all of these types of things the those those people are real people who really lost something when these people came around to attack them for being nothing but like brown or women or left wing and and not like giga racist these people are real yeah but they are the goofiest stupidest people on planet earth i will agree with that and we'll get to that in a second. But I think like one of the biggest things here is um, here is here is what they did once they got to where they were going. They were they were marching towards um, the Washington Monument and then decided that they were going to have a whole speech arena, speech arena cappuccino. Actually, is this Gavin McGinnis? Is that that's not Gavin, is it? Is that Gavin? That's not Gavin. I don't think that's Gavin. Gavin, Gavin's the, the head of the Proud Boys, not Patreon Front. My bad. The media will say that our ideas are dangerous and that they will require danger to implement. But that is because they want you to fear the future and we do not. He, sound, he, looks, like a, he looks like a Far Cry villain, you know what I mean? He looks like a... Yeah, you're right, he's not Gavin because if he was Gavin, he'd be shoving the microphone up his rectum at the moment. And, and, and it would be farting um, the, it, it would be farting the, uh, the, his speech into the mic. Bro thinks he's in the Civil War. Yeah, he, bro thinks he's on the Civil War fighting for the preservation of slavery. <laughs> uh, yeah, again, this is probably, I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. I might be a racist. I think all these weirdo white dudes look the same. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. Ironically, he's wearing the wrong colors. Listen, they're they're not known for being smart. He who cowers in the face of slander never held his ideas in the first place. Our so true. Is plain to see. Yet we are still proud to be reviled by those who seek to misuse their power. Our innocence is plain to see. Like the reason why there's only like 150 guys, well, like they say 150. I'm not sure if there's actually 150. There may be like 50, 60 guys here. The reason, the reason why is actually because a lot of them got arrested and then they left the organization <laughs> because, because they can't keep getting arrested like that for, for like, um, uh, maybe, maybe white people being a higher percentage of the population one day. So instead of that, they decided to to quit and leave. This is actually smart, smaller than other marches that they've done before, which is incredibly funny. Even in D.C. as well, there's a, there should be a lot of them in D.C. They were able to get a lot of them around in D.C., but but not but not this time, not this time. We will wear our scars of persecution as badges of honor, and we do not wish to seize power as they have done. You're right. You want to do it, but like worse this time. Very interesting, incredibly cool. Thank you, alt right weirdos. Now let's actually get to um, <laughs> now, now let's actually get to how innocent and um, not insane these people are. Some of you have seen this video, some of you have not. It's a classic. It's a it's a proud. It's 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 a uh, uh, it's a patriot front classic. If this is a certified cul de sac classic, life, liberty, victory, life, liberty, victory. 
Want to check it out? Damn, That's son, that take. might be a cut. That's yeah. a good take right there. Seek fucking high. Let's fucking go. <laughs> nice one. Oh, he's so cool. He couldn't. He couldn't hold it in. It was literally like five seconds after they finished, and he couldn't help himself from from throwing another Sieg Heil. Sieg fucking Heil. Let's fucking go. <laughs> Let's fucking go. <laughs> I'm a I'm a Nazi. <laughs> uh, I don't know, man. It's just like you. These all all of the conservatives venerate such like massive losers. People who build their entire like uh, countries or way of life around like exploiting human beings and going to war, and then once it's finally time to do like one of those two things, their entire society is built around being going to war. They fucking lose. But uh, yeah, once there's this, once they do the thing that like their society is built like halfway around, which is like going to war, they lose instantly. They get uh, obliterated every time. That is, it's just wild. The Confederacy and the Nazis, all of them. You'll lose again, brother. Don't worry about it. It'll happen. And and another sneak peek that we've that we, I don't think we've seen this video specifically before. This is in Tallahassee. This is their combat. As you can see here, this is one of their combat drills that got leaked by Unicorn Riot. Make sure you're hitting on the ground when you that clap is your left foot touching the ground. My buddy is, but is I I remember this. Okay, this guy right here. You see this guy right here. Look look how unenthusiastic he is. Look how sad he is. I've seen I've seen kids like this. Okay, I've seen kids like this. This is the kid in football whose dad makes him go because he needs to get out of the house. So he enrolled him in football even though he want he didn't want to be there. You know, he's thinking about how much he could be playing WoW right now instead of being uh <laughs> in football and he's and now he has to go through the drills and he does it all half heartedly. Yeah, bro just wanted to play COD and his... Yeah, listen his, to the boots. You can hear it. Once you get him stuck, you can hear it. Oh, He's... My boy is struggling. Leia. 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 <laughs> oh, my boy is not in line. <laughs> uh, he's completely off. He's, he's, he's drowning in it, okay? It's not as cool as you think that it was. If you need any more inclination that these guys really aren't feds, here's another secret video that they were recording for their um for their things. We haven't seen this one one, but we've seen this guy before. He's from that one training group. This is them training without we're starting masks. Starting topic. So, uh, a quick reminder again. So it starts off. Uh, more, five, more, and then it's going to be a similar four counts up. Detail. Hold. And you always. As you can see, yes, this guy is indeed wearing the Nazi black sun you, you end stop on the shirt. Point. Detail, hold, and boom. Like that, all right? So let's try okay. real quick. Mason, you might also want to touch on that uh, when you hear more time, don't jump the gun and... and yeah, zoom in on the faces. Left Let left me see their faces really quick. be anticipating it. It's like more time. And I remember this guy. is the executing word, you know? Yeah. So just always keep in mind that it's four count. So the last count, which is damn, look at that, look at that pedo stash. That is crazy. All right, so let's try that. And all right, all right, guys, let's try it. Let's see what yeah, we get. Yeah, exactly. So it all, all right. And another quick thing, man. Everyone they get it. How much? How much? This is a minute and a half of instruction on marching. They they actually he's like okay just just think uh, like another thing guys like uh, make sure to like really pick up your feet it could be like a, be, you don't want to trip you'll really look embarrassing. <laughs> what is what is bros? Everybody's getting bored. They don't even want to be there anymore. Dude, look look a poor guy, man. He's he doesn't have much time left. His hairline is is receding almost as fast as the, the white population in the country, man. What's going on? You can't you can't be wasting bro's time like this. He needs to get out there before it's over. What the? It's it, this, this is this is just this, this is just terrible. This is just terrible. There's also a little bit more video here of uh, when they started to get going. As you can see, they're doing great. Oh man, look at them go. You're off, Adam. Oh, they got it. Oh man, they finally are you are you uh are you scared? Are you scared? Are you scared now, guys? The WoW faction is in real life. 
If you're not scared now, if you're a woman, you should be. Because this is the big thing for why I wanted to do this. Here, here's the most important thing that happened recently. Those are all little, little morsels of old cringe that we've seen a little bit of before. Now it's time to talk about something new. If what we saw before, some of their faces, some of their background when it comes to some of the marches and stuff that they do was bad. The Nazi, the, them, them uh, needing like 10 minutes of instruction on the Nazi march. Yeah, on, on the new Nazi stomp. It's time to look at something that we haven't seen before. Something even more candid than we had previously. You know what it is? Patriot Front leaked Discord audio. Somebody was able to get in. Somebody was able to get in and actually record what some of them sitting in Discord just talking to each other was actually like. And I have to tell you now, you, yes, you should be scared. If I have to tell you now, if you think Patriot Front is actually incel front at the, at the end of the day in the worst way possible, yes. The answer is yes, it's bad. And it's probably even worse than you may think. Now, it's not too crazy. It's not too graphic, but it is pretty bad. Slurs, as far as I know, I listened to this before. I don't, I don't believe there's any in here. Uh, but I, I guess if, if they come up where <laughs> the mods, the, if, we, if, if they do come up, the editors know what to do. All right. It, it, it's code red as it usually is. I did pre-listen to it. That is true. It w but it was like a, about like, you know, uh, a little bit before the last stream. So about a week ago now. So I don't really remember exactly everything, but you know, I guess we'll find out. Let's listen to a little bit of it. Yo, did you read that Facebook, uh, article written by Arshad Hassan at like 11? Mm-mm. Fucking dude, that's the sense of entitlement this guy's got. He concludes with Nazis on our streets in 2018. Uh, dude, your fucking name is Ar. Thank you, Twitter. Very cool. 18. Dude, your fucking name is Arshad Hassan. These are not your streets, you piece of brown. Shit. Nice one. What to do when your trans boyfriend is on his period? Bro, they can't. They actually can't stop talking about trans people. Oh fuck! And apparently, um, Elon can't start making a a functioning website, bro. Holy! Anyways, moving on again. Oh fucking hell! Wait. Not your streets, you piece of brown. Sh what to do when your trans boyfriend is on his period? They use open channels. Of course, they're stupid. They literally record themselves with their masks off for more training for other Patriot Front people to come in. Like, like, oh, of course, of course they would be doing. Of course they'd be talking to each other in, <laughs> uh, in in just like their open Discord. Of course, why not? They're children. Oh fucking hell! I'm trying to watch a video, dude. Come on. You know that, like, all this shit could have been avoided if just, like, women never had, like, the right to vote and stuff? Probably. Definitely. Definitely. We need to, like, stop letting women do things. Because when women do things, they, it makes me sad. You know? They don't date me. They don't, like, let me hang all minorities. Um, they won't let me come in them. They won't date me. Brown people are in the country now. Jewish people are like everywhere. They won't date me. It's just like a bunch of problems that we could have easily stopped. Dude, women did like, I was in the same logic as you. And then I realized that one, I was like, fuck, they, they can't fucking like do this. Like maybe there's like, like a, yeah, like a small percentage of them maybe are rational, but like. We got to fix it. We can't count them to fix it because that is they don't fucking fix anything. Well, exactly. That's why you beat them. I just actually children speaking to each other like actually children larping as grown adults speaking to each other thinking that they're actually saying something the circle jerk about who would not not a single woman in sight or or earshot or anywhere yeah that's why yeah man women are so dumb yeah women can women are literally children that's why like here's the here's my here's the craziest thing okay they like compare women to children all, all the time i'm starting to think that they compare women to children because they, <laughs> because they want to have sex with them <laughs> That's what I'm starting to think. I think this is the big reason why they keep comparing women to children. It's just like they, they, they would like to have sex with both of them. And so the closer the children that, that they think of them in their head, the, the hotter they become. Some crazy shit like that. It, it's, it's starting to feel like that, doesn't it? It's starting to feel like that, dude. 
Like apparently, like you'll rely on a woman to help keep your entire like home life in check, so you can like go out. But then they're not smart enough. You don't like respect them enough to to do like anything on planet Earth. You just you you just want to have you just want to like come in your daughter. Is that, is that what you want, brother? I just think it's creepy. I think it's weird, bro. We we have fucking you know you know fucking rave gangs. I mean, what the fuck? Like ethno state rave gang. Why the fuck did he say it? Like he was. Like, like he's an actual gang. What, what the fuck was that? Yeah, yeah, it does get worse. I, I am sorry. Yeah, yeah. That he does, he does. They do, do. They do say insane stuff like that. So, uh, <laughs> I, I did warn you that they go pretty crazy about women here. They, they have a whole tirade about how much they hate women here. We gotta fix it. We can't count them to fix it because that is they don't fucking fix anything. Well, exactly. That's why you beat them. We, we have fucking, you know. You know, fucking rave gangs. I mean, what the fuck? Like, ethno state rave gang. What the fuck? Hey, hey, represent ethno state rape gang here. Hey, hey, sex. We we love sexually assaulting women. <laughs> why? Why? Did, why the fuck did he say? Why the fuck did he say it like that? That shit's insane. Somebody get this. Somebody put this man in jail. <laughs> Anybody who says something like that should have like a minimum like ten days in jail and three psychological evaluations. He said it like this. He said it like he was a part of like Shadow Wizard Money Gang. You know. He said that shit like he was a part of Shadow Wizard Money Gang. Shadow Wizard Money Gang. We love casting spells. <laughs> Ethno state rape gangs. We love assaulting women. Nice one, buddy. You're so cool. Yeah, you're definitely. Yeah, the the, the women are definitely going to you know uh, help 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 you keep up the white race with this one. I bet. Yeah, but isn't raping bad? Like. No, I no, mean, you could, no, as long as you're, dude. yeah, as long as you're raping like people in your own race, it's fine. But like, what if it's like, what if it's, like some just like good girl, like she's like, she's like an innocent Stacy. Well, like, she shouldn't be raping. fucking. She shouldn't be fucking wearing. She shouldn't look like a fucking hooker. Like no, that's the whole. Wasn't, thing. What, if just, what if Stacy's walking to a fucking Bible study and, and she's and she has, she's, and not, she's a fucking her her tits are fucking hanging out and her ass is hanging out like. No, I just look, I just said what they weren't. I said what if she's trad Stacy but she's not married? Is she fair game at that point? Like, what do you? Where do you draw the line? Fair game and where do you draw the line at sexually assaulting women? <laughs> is it like I want you to understand how insane this conversation is? He's not even even like I know for a moment you were like, oh my gosh, are they is, is, is there one guy who's like, oh, don't do it? No, he's just like he's on board. He's on board with the ethno state rape gang. He just wants to know, like, you know, are there, is there decorum to the rape gang? You know, do they, are, are, are they, you know, are, are there, you know, can, can women do things to, to like, pr like protect themselves? And he's just like, nah, they're all, nah, they're all free game. He's just, he's literally an animal. He's literally a creature who needs to be, it needs to stop. Okay. It needs to stop a long time ago. I'll, I'll tell you what. Well, how old is she? What's a what's a thought? What what is a traditional well, girl? What is a thought? How old she's is 12. she? Twelve. No, that's too young. Fucking, she's got to be like you know what's the what's the legal age consent us uh, in Michigan? But sixteen? Oh, yeah, yeah, sixteen. 17. Yeah, sixteen. And then fucking at eighteen, she's having kids, and that's the way she fucking mm -hmm. should be. Nothing wrong with being 14. I, I knew kids that lost when they were 11. Look how perfectly well adjusted I am. Yeah, I mean, but. The, the living proof of why 16 year olds should not get pregnant. Did one of them say 14? That may have gone under the. One of them may have said 14 and went under the radar. Wait one moment. Nothing wrong with being 14. He's, yeah, you're right. He did say nothing wrong with being 14. You're, you're right. I didn't miss that one. He snuck that one in there. He was like, eh, let's cut two years off of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm pushing. Listen, they're pushing my. Uh, <laughs> uh, they're they're Listen, they're they They are. They, these guys are pushing my 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 stringent adherence to the no cruel or unusual punishment for criminals. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> idea uh, enshrined in the constitution you know very convincing now face the wall i knew kids that yeah, lost when they were 11. look how perfectly well adjusted i am yeah i mean but you know it's not it's not uh like white sharia is really not that bad 
white well, Sharia. Well, yeah, if you, take, if you take it like in a non-fucking religious form, yeah, white Sharia is definitely well, when, I, when I say that, I mean, like, if you think about it, if you jumped back to, like, the 19th century, like, that wasn't white Sharia, but, like, people just had no. traditional values and traditional roles. So it was really just like regular Sharia. life. Yeah, yeah, like, women are property, like, you know. Like, let's like, say, like, up until, like, 1910, 1890s, somewhere in there, up until there. Yeah. 1910, 1890s. Oh man, and listen, listen. Now, what, what, what do you think the likelihood of any of these uh, dudes have like actually spoken to a woman in the last two years? I think like none. Yeah, this is what. The, yeah, this is a Patreon. This is what they talk about. This is genuinely what the, the, like an, an actual candid conversation that they're that they're having with each other. This, this is really who these people genuinely are. It's like the the worst, most misogynistic human beings. But I, I, it's like, like I, I could say misogynistic, but it's like it's it's more than even simple misogyny. It's just like <laughs> you you have evil in your heart. <laughs> you know, you've got you you've got you 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 you've got darkness in there. I don't know how else to explain it besides like weird weirdo larpy sort of like teen novel type uh detailed explanation besides saying that there's literally darkness in their like enshrined in their hearts it's shroud their hearts are shrouded in darkness <laughs> the closest thing to demons on that live on planet earth dude is actually running around like oh i can't wait to assault more women i can't wait to essay more women as long as you essay women of the same of the same race it's cool okay all right buddy all right, buddy. Very convincing. Now face the wall. Yeah, it, it, that fair? yeah I, I, mm-hmm. that's that's very fair. I think that's a good good cutoff date. Like women wore one of their like long dresses and had their hair in it. Dude, I would even say, dude, like straight up like Nazi Germany. Like a couple women were represented there, dude. Like mother, literally, mothers got like medals from the government, like highly sought after, like rewards, rewards, like honors for birthing large families and taking care of. Oh, dude, they literally yeah. loaned you money to have kids. Mm-hmm. Rest traditionally, they had traditional values. It was in the 30s and 40s. Uh, didn't Gaddafi do something similar to that? Where he was, like, giving people, like, cars and, like, money to have children and, like, I, I didn't okay we keeps this is how you know that they aren't um that, that these people aren't creative they said white sharia which is cringe we all know the real term is y'all qaeda <laughs> we all know the real term is y'all qaeda but yeah these dudes like they hate welfare bro like <laughs> it's not like you're not gonna get that done you all literally hate welfare vanilla isis vanilla isis is pretty actually vanilla isis does go crazy I, I was like, yeah, that's pretty good. But the more I, the more I thought about it, Yal Qaeda and Vanilla ISIS. That's now that is good. <laughs> oh, now that's what I'm talking. About. Now that's my chatter right there. My chatter's got the got the best memes. I tell you what, that is really good. You're right. Like, I forgot what he was doing. Fucking trad. Gaddafi was right. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, Gaddafi was. Gaddafi did nothing, nothing wrong. Yeah, man. <sighs> we should have never killed him. It was him scanning between like fucking the hordes like Africa and the Middle East. Yeah, the, and, like, just look, just Google fucking Gaddafi UN speech, and it's fucking. It's right there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he gave us the warning, <laughs> <laughs> and we we're like, oh, that's all we have to do. To- and we're like, what? what, what? Oh, jeez. Oh jeez. Okay. Whoop. Anyways, yeah. This is who these people are. This is just who these people are. This is who a lot of conservatives are saying aren't a real problem in the country. I, 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 I will say, as somebody who has women in my family, as, as somebody who you know likes people not being murdered and these types of essay gangs roaming the streets abusing women and people who they say are basically like holding up society i i I will say you know as somebody who wants to build society or something i'm sorry like you need women to be a part of it and simply just forcing women into this just like the cruelest role imaginable because you think so lowly of them you think of them as literal just tools is not going to get them on your side in a free society and there aren't enough of you to be able to just take over the world it's not happening and so it it doesn't it just never made any sense 
that this is something that they actually thought was going to go over well. But they once again, they're not known for being smart. And at the same time, I can't necessarily say that. And, 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 and at the same time, we can be wrong as well when it comes to our actual um, understanding of who they are and, and, and what they do and why they do it. I We like to put logic and reason behind some of the things that they do. There's a lot of times that they're just irrational. They just are mad at the system. They're mad at capitalism. They're mad at like the world. They think that uh, opportunities are being taken from them. And it's really easy to buy into an ideology that tells you that you're better than everybody else. That sounds great, doesn't it? It, it, it would be great to imagine that you that you just naturally come from something that makes you better than every other person. I think personally, I mean, if, if, if that's if, if that's true, I, I, I would be so cool and epic. Right. Um, I, I would have so much to look forward to. I wouldn't have to worry about anything. I'm just I'm just that guy. But when you're not that guy, the, the world in your own uh, in your own misfortune and, and you can't look around at the world and at the country you live in and say, oh, yes, the what built this is like inside of me. It's in my blood. These aren't other people who do these things. They're connected to me in some way simply because of my skin tone, which means I can do something more, which means the reason why I'm not doing something more is somebody else's fault. No, bro. You just, you know, the atomization of society and you not having that many um, friends and having poor socialization skills since you were like a baby that didn't get corrected by your parents and all that type of stuff is why your life isn't that great, okay? It's not because... It's not because the, the the Jews and the blacks and the women are holding you back. It, it it could be just because you're not trying that hard enough, or you know, capitalism or society is in in not a race or gender way, but in a way that just money rules the world that we're a part of, destroys people and disregards things in society that make us people, because. Making us people does not make money. And if it doesn't make money, you know it doesn't make sense. And so if that's the case, then there we are. Um, and that's why they can sometimes even very faintly touch on some things. That's what they touched on there, the whole like, oh, you could you give money to people who are doing things that are important to society that don't make money, even though they didn't talk about that specifically, because I don't think they have the the understanding and, and like the reasoning and, and like the uh, <laughs> they don't have like the understanding to actually say stuff like that, actually understand that. That's what they're getting at there. Um, they're they're That's that's where a lot of the anger is coming from. It's been used and abused and they've been groomed into this by a lot of people or they're the ones doing the grooming. Um, to harm more people, to use it for their own ends. At the end of the day, this is only going to make more more rich people more money. Okay, because they can either because they can either like use it to give money to more Republicans, or they can use it to campaign to like campaign against to uh, to 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 virtue signal to make more money off of uh, people who want to buy things that are anti these guys. Right? It's just tearing us apart. And they're just doing it for themselves. But I got to tell you, if you you don't have to listen. This like they they think that they're so worldly. But when I, honestly, okay, listen. <laughs> the last thing on this, the biggest thing that told me that these types of ideologies literally make negative sense was just looking at Europeans talk about other Europeans. Have you seen that before? Have you seen what it's like? In, in like just looking at Europeans talking about other have you seen what Europeans say about other Europeans like somebody who looks exactly like them but who lives in but who lives like 30 miles away um but but even though it's 30 miles away it's like 17 countries away you know like the Balkans you're right have you seen have you seen the Balkans right it's just like I mean, I saw this earlier. Europeans advocate um, for this until they realize it would entail adding 100 million Russians and 80 million Turkish uh, people, the Turkish voters to the EU elections. And they're like, what the? And then all of them are like, what the hell? <laughs> Just fail miserably with some countries in it. Yeah, they they are. They are not. Bro is not feeling it. OK, they are. They are not feeling it. It's just I mean, I mean, just like, look at look, just look at what these people say about like i mean just and, and look at look at look at the, the discourse that's going on in europe okay this is a map that somebody actually thinks would be good for the country to split the country up into like an, an extra like 350 different countries based on the 
um, different like little mini white people nationalities and, and, and ethnicities inside of uh, Europe, bro. It's just like, yeah, bro. Like you, yeah, you can think that like white, na- white nationalism or something. Dude, listen, if any of these dudes spoke to like a British person and like <laughs> he spoke to like a British person and a French person and told them that they're the same and they need to like work on the same page because they're because they all come from some like big ethnic heritage. I think they would both. I think they would like stop fighting each other, kill you and then go back to trying to kill each other. You know, it would be like a Tom and Jerry, like, you know, teaming up on Spike type thing. <laughs> you know, there, there'd be no there'd be no reason for them to work with you. They hate you, bro. They hate you. If you want to see how little, if you want to see how little, okay, that, uh, that, that, that like, like white people can like get along or something, all you need to do is ask like a German person what they think about um, like a Romanian, okay? Ask a European about Romania or Romanian, okay? And then you'll, you'll get your answer. Ask, ask a, like a Eastern, ask a Western European uh, the person about what they think about Turkey, all right, or Russia, or Ukraine, honestly. One of the big reasons why a lot of Europeans are pro, like, giving weapons to Ukraine is simply because it's two Eastern European, like, uh, uh it's two Eastern Euro- European people killing each other. And so as long as they can kill each other without having to worry about getting their own hands dirty, it's like a win-win scenario, okay? Like, you can't sit here and tell me, that <laughs> you can't sit here and tell me that, like, white people are going to all of a sudden work together. They didn't even work together during the colonial period bro they were splitting things up because they just didn't have the time or resources to kill each other necessarily and they they had there was more money to make outside of just killing each other and so money ruled ruled the reason why they weren't fighting that much but they all fight world war one and two like the biggest world changing wars that were literally named after the world spawned from european people killing each other it's just what they do, okay? I, like, you, like, what's a map of Europe, okay? Like, people, like, Europeans get on us for not knowing, like, what country. Your countries change, like, literally every 50 years. The lines in Europe change, like, every 50 years, bro. Okay, you, like, bring me a map of, of Poland in, like, the, in, like, the 1700s, the 1800s, the 1900s, and the 2000s, and I'm going to tell you that if you ask your average person, those are 17 different countries. And yes, I know I only did three. Poland can't catch a break. Yeah, say the same thing about, like, Ukraine, or, like, Germany. <laughs> uh, the EU, the France, Italy, Spain. I mean, like not too. I mean, like not too long ago, uh, like all of Spain was like a, a bunch of different, like little mini kingdoms, and w- was even honestly Muslim too. It, w- it was big Muslim too. Greece, yeah, it's somewhere in here. This is Greece, right? Is is this it, bro? Like it, you don't even have to go from one end of Europe to the other. Ask a, ask ask somebody from Greece about what they think about somebody from Turkey, and, and I and I'm going to promise you that nothing's good. That nothing. You're not going to hear anything good. Okay, you're going to have to. You're going to have to like censor it because the what they're going to say buddy listen if you want to see real racism ask a european about another european okay i'll I'll, i I will tell you what i i will i will tell you what all right it it, it is not going to go over well ask a northern italian what yeah ask a yeah ask an italian from rome what they think about sicily and and you're going to hear something um that that just may shock you quite a lot it just may shock you quite a lot, okay? This is what European politics are like, okay? They can't get anything together. They only get like Europe literally only gets their uh, only gets their stuff together when it's about killing other Europeans or killing somebody else. That's it. It used to be like a it, it, like Europe had a war culture all the way up until World War. Actually, was it one? When did the war culture in in Europe actually start to fade away, even the slightest a bit? Okay, bro, Europeans were barbarians. They were, they were always killing each other. World War Two was that was that what really did? I think it was World War One, when like they, like it, 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 Europeans were killing each other literally for sport. <laughs> Half of the Russian population were slaves until the early 1900s. World War One changed Europeans' views on war simply because the new technology made war not fun anymore. They would literally bully and kill other other European men for not wanting to go to war over something as simple as pepper. Bro, it's, it's just crazy. It's crazy. And these people are going to be making a whole ideology about bringing all these people together. Bro, they can barely get the EU working. And that's and that's like one of the, the most the most profitable economic um 
Uh, one of the most profitable economic um, uh, pairings of countries the world has ever known. And there are still people jumping ship just because they're racist against other Europeans. <laughs> like, come on, man. Like, come on. You genuinely think. You genuinely think that this is going to work. It's clownery. It's buffoonery. It's proof that you don't even know anything about the own pe about the people who you try to say that you that, that that you're like repping for. It just makes no sense. It makes no sense. And no, it had nothing to do with the Jews or the blacks um, or the women. It's just you, bro. There's something wrong with you. Get a grip, bro. You're losing it. You're losing it. Oh, sorry. I didn't see you there. If you're enjoying the content, hit the subscribe button. If you don't, it'll make Boo very sad. I know a bunch of you who are watching are not subscribed. Join the frenzy. You won't regret it. <laughs> Thank you, Boo.